Congressman Rourke, welcome. welcome. Introduce yourself and give us your testimony. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and to you and the committee, good afternoon, and, and thank you for receiving my, my testimony. My name is Beto O'Rourke. I'm from El Paso, Texas, and I stand before you in opposition to SB 29. I, I have been so impressed today, uh, listening as all of you have been to those who've come to testify, both for and against this bill, and, and I've learned a lot. Um, but, but what struck me the most has been the, um, the grace and the patience and the generosity, especially of the parents of transgender children and, and those transgender children themselves in helping all of us to understand what their lives are like. And uh, I know that has to move you because it, it, it definitely moved me. Um, I also appreciated hearing from the representative from Dell who described the economic impact this would have on, on our state. And it's hard to think of a more um, important Texas economic development and job success story than, than Dell Computers. And understanding that this could imperil that kind of success is something that I took note of. I also think about the constitutional questions that a bill like this one poses of equal treatment to all of us as Americans under the law. Um, I took note of, of the public health evidence given, um, the rise in depression, and anxiety and suicide uh, by those children who are discriminated against by bills like this one. But, but what got me more than anything else um, was the moral question that is before us. And listening to Charlie Apple, uh, who said, sports saved my life. Um, that really got me. I had to get you too. Um, those of you who are parents, uh, uh, Amy and I are raising a 14-year-old, uh, a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old, and, and I was thinking about my kids when I was listening to Charlie Apple. And so let me conclude with this. Um, you're good people. You're public servants. Um, you, you ran for office, and you're, and you're sitting and serving here because you want to you wanna help people. You don't want to hurt people. And it could not have been your intent, including the author of this bill, to hurt anybody. But now that you know it will hurt people, I hope that you will withdraw this bill and if it should move forward, that those of you who are on this committee and are listening to those who've testified today will oppose it. Thank you very much. Congressman, thank you for your testimony. Senator, is there any, any questions for Congressman Rourke? Thank you for being here. Oh, I'm sorry, Senator, Beverly, Senator Powell. There you go. I got you this time. Go ahead. Congressman, I think probably everybody in here recognizes your name, and they know that you have traveled widely throughout the state of Texas on different campaigns and, um, and most recently during the last election cycle. And I would ask you, when you travel through the state of Texas, um, tell us what you see with regard to our LGBTQ community and, the, and um, bills that come before us like this that impact the lives of children. I hear uh, a, a basic desire uh, for fairness and, and for equal treatment, one that I think all of us respond to. I mean, we, we want this country to work for, for everyone. We want everybody to be okay. And, and again, I, I, I don't presume anything, um, uh, any bad intent from anybody, including those who, who support this bill. I, I'm sure that they support it for the best of, of reasons. I just think that you're hearing right now what I've heard across the 254 counties of, of this state is that perhaps unintentionally, um, nonetheless, um, bills like these, even the effort, frankly, even the hearing of this, uh, causes undue anxiety and distress, depression, and unfortunately, but I think it's worth saying, um, because it's the lives of our kids, it, it causes suicide, it causes death. Now, none of us wants that. And again, that, that cannot have been the intent. Now that we know that it is the effect, um, I, I urge you to, to please drop this matter. And as many others have said far more eloquently than I could, to pursue those very pressing issues that are before us as a state and a country right now. I appreciate those remarks. And in particular, um, I'd like to say here that it, with the 30 colleagues that I serve with on, on the uh, entire Senate, I always find that each one of us has very altruistic motives uh, and intent with regard to our legislation, but you are so right here that when you hear witness after witness after witness with the kinds of um, heart-wrenching testimony that we've heard here today, it has to move 
your thought process about what we're doing with regard to our children in the state of Texas. And thank you so much for being here today to testify. I want to thank you and I want to thank the committee members. And, and Mr. Chair, I want to thank you for the way you've conducted this, this hearing. The, the fact that you're listening to everybody is, is just so powerful and so important. And so anyhow, uh, th as a Texas citizen, thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman.